naturally feel very different, naturally are being casted and, and being looked at as the weirdos, that we're weird people, we're different, are um, the fact that you are pulled in the way you are is being ridiculed. Uh, a lot of us coming from families that if you don't go, if you're not uh, being religious and you're being spiritual, it's a woo woo and it's weird. So naturally, it it creates a situation that you really feel that you are all alone by yourself and and uh, nobody really understands you and nobody really knows uh, what is going on inside you. Fortunately, through the grace of God, Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul or the grace of existence, the presence, um, and also the development of the internet and availability of more information today is we're able to find each other and we're able to find our niche and our community of our brothers, sisters who all been called on the world of spirit and, and we have similar interest. But in the same time, as being on this path of uh, going towards the light, there's also, it could be extremely confusing at times uh, because just like anything else in the world, when something becomes popular and more and more being drawn to it, there is also misrepresentation that happens. And there's the charlatans and there's the fake guru or, you know, there's always this business mind that comes in and finds an angle that in the name of the spirit or the name of the God, um, I can make a buck out of this or human's ego unless the teacher or the guru, they have completely arrived at a silent mind or they're completely have come to the purification and they're purified. Uh, if there is any ego left in them and there's a secret agenda, then what happens is they can use their power and they can use um, whatever is at their disposal because people start trusting him and giving themselves to them. And so we can see today as also in the spiritual world that there is false proclamations or there is also abuse uh, and misuse of the power of the spiritual teacher uh, in various forms. So, what basically boils down is that what do I do, you know? How do I navigate my way through this jungle? And um, how do I find the right teacher? And how do I find the right community? And, and how do I know what's really right for me? That's uh, something that comes up. And, uh, and it's real, and we all need to look at it. And a part of that is really to do always cross-examination. And cross-examining everything to see, number one is uh, to develop and to our intuitive knowing. I'm not talking about the passing emotions that come and go. That one moment I'm feeling good or one moment I don't feel good about something. And, 
and that feeling good feeling feeling bad can come and go and it's not consistent i'm talking about tuning in <laughs> and really uh developing and paying attention to our true inner voice and our inner guidance because down deep you always know what's right and what's not and that's one of our fortunate uh inheritance that we have received from the creator that somewhere down deep we always know and now there are times in our lives that we're kind of live in denial <coughs> excuse me and we not really pay attention or really don't want to look at something uh but you always at the end of it when something happens you always when you look back you say i kind of down deep i knew this was right or this was wrong and or something was not really kosher so that's one thing <laughs> you want to do is that always do check in with yourself always come back to center of yourself always come back to this place of really sitting with yourself and sitting with the situation or whatever that is and to see if it's right or not to see if you're fooling yourself and you're making up stories for yourself or or not are you really looking at the evidence and the facts and what really is being presented to you as well as your intuitive knowing and slowly slowly working on that area and and being really honest with yourself and developing your powerful intuition which is you have already been born with and you have inherited that and pay attention to that the spirit this in spirit world your guide your the angels your soulmate or your higher self uh what Ever name we want to put to it or however we want to address it is always in a communication with us we're always being communicated there's always divine self communicating with us in different ways now it could be a sign that you see or it could be a series of different signs happen or it could be a voice speaking to you or it could come in a form of a premonition um it could be in a voice or you know it it doesn't matter it's this communication it's always been there from childhood and it's always there but a lot of us we don't pay attention to it now we you have to also be careful because this communication of between us and our divinity and our guide or guides uh cannot be mistaken for the ego.